YouTube, TTC, all my Dirty Birds out there, rise up. Another win. Another win for the Dirty Birds. <laughs> Nine and five on the year. Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. We're going five and one in the division. We're going to win the division. We're going to win the NFC Championship. We're going back to the Super Bowl. Nothing's changed, baby. Nothing's changed. It's, it's the same as last year. Nine and five, we get these next two wins, same as last year. Shout out to all the Yucks fans out there. Shout out to uh, uh, Real Talk Perez. Shout out to Bucko's Locker. Uh, shout out to everybody who wanted us to lose. All you Cowboys, uh, Seahawks, Green Bay, Cheeseheads. All you uh, haters plotting on our downfall. Shout out to all y'all. All y'all need to rise up. You know what I'm saying? Get with the program and rise up, baby. That's another win. Um, we swept the Yucks this year, which I'm happy about. Um, I think we're three and one in the last four games against them. Uh, we three and zero against the Aints in the last four games against them. But you know we're gonna go go ahead and take this win on Sunday. Then we'll be four and zero against the Aints too. Um, swept the Panthers last year. It's it's our division. I mean we took a loss to them this year, but you know last game of the season they come to the uh, to the stadium. We'll get a win against them. Uh, the, I mean, the Yucks, they played a good game. Jameis was on fire. I think at one time he was like 10 out of 12. So um, we kept running the same damn scheme, the same cover three, and he kept throwing it up the damn seam or um, checking down. So he was accurate with the ball. I give him his props. He was accurate with the ball. He played a good game. I mean, he got out of sacks. We had him dead to right, but, you know, he was squeezing the pass in between two, three defenders. Uh, Evans had a good game for them. Barber fumbled inside the red zone, which I, I once he fumbled inside the red zone, I knew we found a way to win uh, after that. Um, they get the ball. We got the lead well by 10 with seven minutes left. Instead of doing what we've been doing, which is being aggressive, playing man, tight coverage, we fall back into the prevent. We let them come down the field and score yeah, they ate up a bunch of clock, but still, it shouldn't have even been that close, honestly. Uh, Ryan was off a little bit. The timing was off. Uh, I think Julio had a couple drops, which is kind of off. I don't know. They just kind of had an off night. I don't know if Julio um, had some injury injury problems, but it, it looked like he was limping a little bit, so maybe uh, his foot would bother him. I don't, I don't know for sure, but I know Matt Ryan, I mean, he had a couple passes. He put him right on the receiver. And they dropped it. Um, we had some miscues offensively. <sighs> Freaking Garland, man. Garland Garland cost us a big play. Um, you know, I don't know, man. Garland, I, I, I know he's a work in progress, man, but I just don't feel like he's a starter, man. I mean, we need we need to get um, our guard back in, man, because Garland, he, yeah, he's a backup, you know, and I, I know he's aggressive, man, but he's not. He's not that big of an old lineman. Uh, he went to the Air Force Academy, so shout out to all the folks in the Air Force. You know what I'm saying? And um, I just, I don't know, man. I think he's going to be a liability, man, because in, in, in tough times and critical downs, critical situations, man, you can't count on him to uh, to execute on the old line. You know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, we, 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 need our, we need our linemen back, man. We need all five starters back. You know what I'm saying? Because... I don't know. Uh, Freeman ate, man. Freeman had a good night. I feel like once we get Freeman and, and, and Coleman back, that's just gonna be it's just gonna be ridiculous, man. You can't stop Freeman. I don't care who you are. Even if a little small toss sweep, you know, a little run around the end, he's gonna get four to five yards. If you don't tackle him, he, he can break it for the big one. You know what I'm saying? Um, he made a big play towards the end to put us up by ten. Um, but, you know, defense let James just come right back down the field. They ran no huddle, came right back down the field and scored. Um, Keanu Neal, man. <laughs> Bro, you can't play safety falling down, man. He keeps falling down. He keeps, I mean, he, he's in coverage. And he keeps slipping and falling. And you're a safety, man. Safeties can't fall down. There's nobody else behind you, man. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand if you need new cleats or uh, what's going on, man? But change your shoes, man. Do something, man. You can't keep falling down. I mean, I know he made some good tackles. 
Um, but he got beat in coverage a lot, man. He had a terrible game, man. Keanu, man, you got to step it up, bro. We need you, man. This is your second year, man. No more no more rookie uh, mistakes, man. We got to have you, man. We got to have you, uh, instead of trying to make the big hit, just make the sure tackle. You know what I'm saying? Make the sure tackle. Don't fall down. That's, that's all we need you to do. Make the sure tackle. Don't fall down. Um... A lot of Yucks fans said we was gonna lose. You know, said um, you know it's prime time and and Jameis is three and one against us and blah 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 blah. But you know, just hold that L uh, for me real quick. Um, all you folks that got on um, on the Buckos locker comment section and talked a bunch of trash, got on the uh, comments of all the highlights and talked a bunch of trash. And uh, I wish we had a field goal kicker. And you know, uh, we had so many injuries and. How far defense was out? Why, 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 why? You sound like Aints fans. You really do. You sound like an Aints fan. Oh, injuries and Kamara and the Revs and blah, 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 blah. Just take a loss, man. If you lose, you lose. You know what I'm saying? Plain and simple, man. It's not It's not, It's not. not rocket science, man. You didn't make the plays to win the game. You don't, it don't matter what happens, man. This is football. It's going to be injuries. People are going to get hurt. These are... These are uh, professional athletes colliding into each other at high rates of speed. You know what I'm saying? People are going to get hurt. Injuries are going to happen. Do you have the backups to come in, take their place, and, and ball out? And I feel like last night, if we had Coleman last night, I feel like uh, we would have easily won that game. We were just missing him. I mean, Teron Ward, he came in. He made some good plays. It's just our offense is different when we don't have both our running backs. You know what I'm saying? So, um, Sunday, we got the Aints down in the boot. Uh, I want them full speed. I want all their running backs to play. Matter of fact, I want I want uh, every ref down there to wear black and gold, and I want I want them to get every call that they can get down there. Uh, I really, really, really want uh, Sean Payton. I want to see his face after we beat them. You know what I'm saying? After we beat them four times in a row. I really want to see his face, and I want to hear the excuses that the fans are going to have, that the Ains fans are going to have after we beat this dude four times in a row. I, I really want to see it. You know what I'm saying? So after we win on Sunday, um, this is what's going to happen. Uh, first first off, Ains fans are going to say we cheated. Uh, they're going to say uh, we shouldn't have beat them the first time. Uh, what else are they going to say? They're going to talk about the Super Bowl last year. Um, they're going to say um, somebody was hurt. They're going to blame the refs, and um, they're also going to say, oh, um, well, um, this happened, or uh, some of the lights went off in the dome, and um, we couldn't see. They're going to make, like, 100 excuses for losing on Sunday, and I can't wait. I can't wait to see it in the comments. I can't wait to um, look back on it and, and, and laugh at y'all after we beat y'all four times in a row. So, anyway, this AR-10 checking out. Uh, shout out to all the Yucks fans. Uh, we swept you. You know what I'm saying? Y'all ain't been y'all ain't y'all ain't been to the playoffs in ten years. You ain't won a playoff game in fourteen years. Y'all are irrelevant. Four and ten in the division. Everybody else in the division got six, seven, eight, nine, ten wins. And y'all got four. Uh, so make your way down to the basement. Your season's over. Your season's been over, honestly. Um, make your way down to the basement. Um, you're probably gonna be there for the next two, three years looking at you're probably gonna have a coaching change and then um, you don't know how to draft. I mean, you got the only the only draft picks you got right was Jameis Winston. Um, you'll bring in a, a, a few uh, veterans who, you know, will hopefully, uh, you know, get you three or four or five, maybe six wins next year, and you'll stay in the basement. The rest of the South is is growing. Uh, Panthers, they got talent. We got talent. Ains got talent. I ain't gonna lie. All three of us got talent. All three of us, uh, our arrow is pointing up, and y'all arrow is pointing down. You know what I'm saying? So take y'all. Take y'all bum ass to the basement. Anyways, AR10 checking out. Uh, all my dirty birds rise up. I'll check in with y'all later. Peace.